Hey guys, my name is James Bailey. I'm the Head of Business Development at Subquery. Today we're going to talk about how the Subquery network works at a high level. There are three types of participants in the Subquery network. Consumers will make requests to Subquery for specific data and pay an advertised amount of Subquery tokens. Indexes will host those Subquery projects in their own infrastructure running both the node and the query service to index data and answer GraphQL queries. And then finally, delegators will participate in the network by supporting their favorite indexes and earning rewards. Let's start with indexes. Indexes do a lot of the hard work behind the scenes. Getting hardware, running infrastructure, monitoring that infrastructure, and choosing the right subquery project to index. This takes time and money, but once they have this, consumers can come and make requests. Consumers will make those requests to the subquery network for a specific data and will pay an advertised amount of subquery tokens. This payment goes into a project revenue pool, and there's one project revenue pool for every different subquery project. At the end of what we call a staking era, which is a 28-day period, we take this project revenue pool and split it. It's split among the indexes that are participating in that subquery project using something called the Cobbs-Douglas production function. This approach, in simple terms, means that the revenue is allocated to competing indexes as both a proportion of the work that they've done or the requests that they've answered and the amount that they have staked. In our view, the beauty of this equation is that a rational indexer must maintain a high level of staked subquery tokens relative to the work that they've done in order to receive optimal rewards. So indexes incentivize both to do as much work as possible and to maintain as much stake as possible to maximize their rewards. And this is where delegators come in. Delegators can delegate their spare subquery tokens to indexes, and each indexer can publish a query fee revenue share rate to attract that investment. Those delegators will be rewarded at the end of that staking era with a proportion of the query fee revenue earned by the indexer in that period. The rate that indexes advertise is locked for a full 28-day staking era cycle and a decrease to that rate must be advertised for an entire cycle before coming into force. Similarly, delegators can remove their delegation amounts at any point, but they'll only receive rewards when they're delegated for the entire era. Indexing a project takes time and money. There's a lot of data on chain, and in order to encourage indexers to take a risk, to index and support an entirely new subquery project, we plan to implement a a market mechanism. We're calling them purchase orders and consumers can advertise a contract on chain for a set price and a set number of requests. Indexes can see that and then choose to do the work to index that data to take and fulfill that contract. Purchase orders can also be placed on existing subquery projects to attract additional indexes in to improve competition and decrease prices. The subquery network looks to move towards a globally decentralized network of participants, organizing blockchain data in order to ensure that there is no single point of failure. The subquery network is a simplistic solution, but is powerful enough to power the future of serverless applications in the Polkadot and Substrate ecosystem.